love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Welcome to days of Elijah, which are ones of the oneness of Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. The Pope has declared that all have the same faith, and actually that is not true. Chrislam is the faith of the risen Good Shepherd over all the flocks of men. Christianity wins because it acknowledges Christ as Lord of all, the Good Shepherd over all the flocks of man. Islam wins because, as Muhammad says uh, in the Hadith, his people shall now belong to another that sounds like Islam. This is Chrislam. And it will happen because of a book coming that proves God's mercy, uh, as he said, which is the book of Jeremiah alone, the only Kingdom Age prophet. And Israel wins because they are acknowledged as God's chosen people and are exalted to inherit all the Gentiles, exactly as it is foretold and was foretold in Isaiah 54, 3. So welcome to Chrislam, which is the faith of love in action. Jesus said we must be as little children. So leave the land of the walking dead if your love has been dying because of bitterness or unforgiveness. Leave the land of the walking dead. Leave the road of perishing. And stand not in a place where your faith and your love is dying out. For if you let love die out within you, that is God in you. And if he goes away, that is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let it die. So exalt now love evermore and embrace Chrislam because each wins exactly as it is foretold. And the Great Commission is over because the mystery of God is finished and all nations belong to the Lord now. And in these days, God is the God of Israel and all the families of Israel. They have inherited their Kingdom Age Everlasting Covenant, just as it was foretold in Jeremiah.